When you do TDD, how do you make sure that your tests are right? Do you write the test for your test? Um, well, um, that depends. Uh, let's say that you have, if, you, if you're doing TDD and you're writing like, I don't know, a calculator or something, uh, and you say to the, like you write a test that uh, checks that if you put in two plus four, does that return uh, four? Uh, that you don't need to verify that that test is right. I mean, that that is just a, an example, so to speak. That is what the, that it was what the test does. It's, it's very clear. Uh, you can just like ocularly see that the test is correct. However, let's say that you instead have a piece of code that calls another API. Uh, let's say that you have a function. I did this in one of the other, uh, in the unit testing series. You have a piece of code that fetches the tax rate from an external service given a country. So given that you pass in a country, to this function, it uh, uh, it passes it, it does a fetch request to certain API uh, with some certain parameters, and given some JSON, it parses that JSON and then it extracts some piece of information that could back from that uh, thing. Then, in that case, then your unit test is going to just have a mock for that. It's not going to actually go away and fetch a network request every time you run the test because that would be um, insane. Like those tests would be really slow. So you're, you're mocking that. And that is tricky because you might make a mistake in how you set up the mock. So even if your test is green and uh, oh, this does the correct, uh, correct fake request, or fake side effect, the side effect might actually not be the one you want. So in that case, you will actually have to manually verify that the, the effect that you're, once you have the test green, you have to actually take the, the unit test and run that and inspect the, the result manually. And like, okay, yes, this test is correct. And only then do you actually save and, and commit the test. Um, so whenever you have side effects with unknown forms, uh, then you will have to manually verify every unit test you write once.